So you are the creator. Everyone here is the creator and you create what is within you. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today is one more day, the blessed one, where I bless the living God, our Lord God, Jesus Christ, because he has blessed me with the desires of my heart. And these desires are not really mine, but these are also the Lord's desires in me, the will of the Lord. The Lord wanted to live in this kind of climate and see the sunrise. So the Lord God lifted me up to the top of the mountain amidst the forest so that he will be blessed because he is living in me. He is my Lord, my God. Hallelujah. Now, as I stay here, I live according to the Lord's will. And I really feel that I am fulfilling the will of the Lord because he is my creator. I am made in the image of God. And when you also fulfill the will of the Lord, you are also created in his image. Glory be to God alone. It is so wonderful to know that you are in his image. And just think about all those people. Just think about them who are creating the other images, the idols, who is in them? Because they are also creating something in their own image. So you are the creator. Everyone here is the creator and you create what is within you. The Lord God made this beautiful nature, the beautiful air, the climate, the firewood, and he created the chopping of the birds, beautiful sunrise, the flora, fauna, and you. The most important, he is delighted in you. You're the chosen one of the Lord. And what about those people who are creating the different creations? So who is in them? Because the Holy Spirit is within you. And the same God who has created you is within you. So you are also the creator. Now what are you going to create? I create these videos, the prophetic ones. I bless the Lord in these videos. I thank the Lord in these videos. But what about you? What are you doing? Are you truly glorifying the Lord God with your finances, with your body, with your life, with your mouth, with your job, with your business, with your relationships? Is the same Lord God, Jesus Christ, who has created you in his image, being glorified through you, even when he is within you, are you still obeying the Lord God, Jesus Christ? Otherwise, you will also be like them, like them who create the different images, the different idols, because that's what is within them. So know who you are. You are the righteous people of God and you are created in the image of God. And now you are also the creator. Hallelujah. Glory be to God alone. Do like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you are led by the Holy Spirit and press the all option in the notification bell icon. And most important is comment with yes and amen because that's the agreement you need to come in an alignment with the Lord. Participate. The Hindi or the Urdu word for participation is shamil. So participate in the kingdom of God. Participate in the will of the Lord. Participate in the works of the Lord and you shall be filled with the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. The source can sow the seed, which is very important. Don't ignore it. The season of first fruits is on. It is the season of first fruits because two days before I have also sown the first fruits and I felt so blessed. After sowing the first fruits, I felt so blessed. So this is the season of sowing the first fruits and it will continue till March. This is prophetic. It starts from this month. November, December, January, February, March. So this five months will be the five months of the sowing of the first fruits. And even I'm going to do that in everything. I'm going to sow my first fruits. And I pray, always I pray that it must be acceptable by the Lord. Whenever I sow the first fruits, I see the Lord God is smiling. So I am the creator here on earth and I add on to the smile of the Lord. So shall it be with you. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. 
We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.